Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we are going to be looking at the Putinger Novacat A10 Crossflow and the 301 AM ED Pro. These are by Despo93, so let's jump in, let's go. So the Putinger Novacat 10A is under mowers, so under grassland mowers. If you come down, you'll see it's a double pack. So we've got the Novacat A10 Crossflow, which is 75,000. These are some of the more popular um, attachment mowers that we've had in the game over the past few iterations. So it's nice to see them make a way back in. And uh, you'll see why in a minute when we get to go in and have a little look at it. Looking very nice in the store. No customizations. Uh, we've got a 3.3 metric ton weight, uh, a required horsepower of 160. A 10 meter working width and a working speed of 30 miles an hour. So, next up, we'll have a look at the front attachment for the Putin just set, and that's the Novacat 301 AMED Pro, and this is for 13,500. Like I say, this is the front attachment. This can run without the rear attachment, and the rear attachment can run without the front attachment. You'll just miss a tuft of grass in the middle. And again, a popular choice amongst many digital farmers. And this one comes in at a 1.5 one metric ton 70 horsepower to run this uh 3.1 meter working width and again 13 miles per hour so that's around about 17 kilometers an hour i think so it's a good working speed so let's get this hooked up on the farm and give it a whirl so for this little demonstration we've got the uh Puti genova cat hooked up on the doits and as you can see very nice detail um, like I say, we've had them in previous iterations of the game. I should imagine these are just sort of converted over, fresh skins, fresh textures to work with the new the new light and the new textures and everything. That looks very good on the front here. On the back, the big dual mower blades. This all folds down. Expandable as well, I believe. Once these are out, you can put the put the blades out a little bit further. Lots of options for, for mowing and laying the grass once it's done in its swath. So uh, let's jump in, let's have a little look at that. This is where we have to try and remember the controls. So if we just get onto our meadow. And I believe I want to... See if we can get this all to come out together. Okay, so are we let's start? There we go, we've still got our head down, mowers down. We're trying to do it all together rather than individually, and it still seems to go a little bit awry. But what we can do with these mower sets, so the front will always mow as is. Uh, we've got this set as a widespread swath, so if we do start it up. Both front and rear mowers are going. You'll see we get a nice wide swath. Got the front swath drops. Then we've got the wide spread. Nice animation moving around. Now, what I wanted to check was if I click in my right mouse button, I can then slightly extend the right and if I click in the left and pull it out and extend the left we've actually got a slightly wider working width here I think just a little bit nice now what we can do with these mowers which is nice which is why they're so popular <laughs> is we can change our work mode and we can do it whilst we're going as well so we can go from widespread to swath dropping just by changing the work mode in your controls. For me, that is control and Y. So now we've got a nice swath ready to be picked up. And then we can also, it's not very straight, is it? Um, we can also go for left side swath dropping. So we can pull everything 
over to the middle and then it drops on what is our right hand side and then we can go right hand swath and it'll pull everything over from the other side into the middle and then start to lay that down and again we click it again and we'll go back to widespread and then to swath drop so let's see if we can get a little a little headland, a little leap going on in our meadow Well, there we have it. That that is mowing. They are the mowers. Got a nice bit of detail here. You could, I could see the uh, the aprons, the skirt on them. A bit of movement. Very nice. Like I say, the no the, <laughs> the Nova Cat is uh, a very popular choice because of the uh, the swath dropping ability. So it's really nice to see them come over. So uh, appreciate Despo 93 for getting on these and uh, having this ready for us. But that is it, the Puta Genovica A10 Cross Flow and the 301 AM ED Pro by Despo93. And again, we'll run through it. For the front section, it's 13,500, 70 horsepower, 3.1 meter working width, and a 22 kilometer or 30 mile an hour working speed. And on the back mowers, the, the A10 Cross Flow is 75,000, it's 160 horsepower to run, 10.2 meter working width and 16 kilometers or 30 miles an hour working speed as well. A very nice mod, pleased to see it over. I'm sure many of you are as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.